Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop, and we're very happy to see you here today. Today, I have a very stunningly beautiful quilt on the long arm. Walt is very pleased to have this quilt here. It is, I'm calling it four borders and more, <laughs> because it's got lots of borders, but it really suits the quilt. Uh, there is a rose and um, um, succulents, uh, panel in the center and I will put Walt over there so you can see a little bit of the leaves and I did a rose stitch out. I'll try and make sure that the thumbnail of this uh, video you could really actually see um, the, the center panel there because it's quite gorgeous. So I stitched four roses out on it with leaves and everything else. It looks very beautiful. So um, this border right here I took as one and I put a swirl and feather in there. The thin, uh, well not thin but the striped green one here, I put leaves, same on the other side, obviously. And we're gonna work on this one right here. It was such a beautiful mitered corner, like check this out. Well done, Ruth. R Ruth is from um, Thunder Bay, Ontario, and she sent me her quilt to work on, and she said I can pretty much do what I wanted and use whatever thread I wanted. So I chose mint, and I think it looks really nice. And it pops up in lots of spots, and it brings out the other kind of tones of green in the quilt projects. But I just really wanted to show you this beautiful, all, all the corners, but this, we're just checking out this one right now, uh, of, of the mitered corner. Isn't that beautiful? And so in this case, I took this as a whole border itself right here, from here to here, all the way to this end. So all the way down. So we're gonna do the same what we did in here. I've just kind of echoed it outwards because I just thought it looked so pretty. And we're gonna get Walt to finish it up. He's gonna work away. And then I have the leaves, again, that are gonna stitch out here. They'll just be a little bit bigger. Okay, and he's gonna continue working on. Let me just turn it down just a little bit. He's going to continue working on the stitch out pattern that's the opposite side so it looks like the bed border is continuing going around the quilt as one one whole unit uh, on this side and then we're just going to work our way again and again so i figure this is border number one two three four five so four borders and more <laughs> it's beautiful i really really love it the colors are stunning um, because the backing matches, I believe it, it was a kit. I'm not sure, maybe she'll leave a comment uh, and uh, she can fill us in on a little 411 about this whole project. It's a good size. It's 90 by about 70, 72-ish, something like that. And I chose uh, the white uh, cotton. I just thought it would be, would be pretty. So, lovely, beautiful mitered corners. Well done, Ruth. I, um, yes, oh, sorry, Ruby. Well done, Ruby. I apologize. Well done, Miss Ruby. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I don't know if she bought this kit uh, online or uh, something she put together herself. Um, it's just, it's so, so beautiful. Like it really is. Um, it's a, a, a lovely kit that's, uh, or lovely, um, the whole, the whole quilt is just stunning. So. And I did have pink thread on it, I had a purple, I had a white, I had another green, and uh, this one just kind of called out. It, I think it, uh, it suits it, so hopefully you guys agree. Leave your comments below if you don't, or do. <laughs> so pretty, love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's been very fun to work on. So we're sectioning it out, doing the uh, borders and the corners and each one, and. You know, setting the setting the lengths of them and the widths in them, so on, so on and so forth. It's been it's been a fun project. The whole cloth is going to take a little longer, so it's got to come off and then come back on and come back on, and so it's, that's just what's going to happen. That's a lot of clicking out, <laughs> but the progress will be made. I promise. <laughs> My customer has seen pictures and she loves it. She wants me to continue. I just I left it up to her, so and she's she's quite happy. Love that thread. Beautiful, beautiful thread. Wow. 
So then, like I said, the other one's going to be in here is a leaf, the one that's same in here, just a little bit bigger, and then another of the feather and swirl on the outside border, and it just looks lovely when it's being tripled. It's one, two, and three with the leaves in between. It just goes really well with this quilt. I think it looks stunning. I've sent her some pictures. She likes it so far of this one right here. So, and uh, the rest will have to be a surprise. I'm sure she's watching. <laughs> Beautiful. Love, love, love it. Yeah, add some tones on here with the other colored threads just to kind of lighten it up. If it, you know, I would have definitely showed up so nice and bright on the green, but I really didn't want it to take away from any of the lovely borders that were going on here, right? I like all the little succulents. Beautiful, the roses. Really lovely. Going up in a flower shop, I, I, I really do appreciate lovely flowers. I do now, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't for a while. <laughs> but they are beautiful. Oh, lovely. So we could have done a few different things on this project. We could have just put an edge to edge on it, the whole thing. Um, I think we really wanted to, we talked about borders, so I knew that was one of our main focuses of how to, you know, each border would maybe be different or something in each border. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it came to what she was hoping for. I think it looks lovely. I said I didn't, want to, I didn't want to pick a thread that was going to take away from the colors. Um, you could have done geometric shapes. You could have stuck more with like a uh, fern sort of stitch out instead of the leaves. Um, I just, to me, this kind of sort of leaf shape is very universal. It goes to a lot of plants. It has the same like shape, the point to point, the rounded middle. And I just love a good feather and swirl when it comes to a nice flowery border. It just looks so pretty. And then with the pretty little thread to pop it. It's very nice. So we only have a couple more after this one's done. And then I got to work on the center sections. So what I do is I rolled it so it's on the one side, roll it to this side so I can work on the border sure. as one whole unit, as a, the curvature of the, up, uh, the X and the Y of going around. And then I'll roll it back to where it goes to the center and work those spots because it'll go to so far and so far and then I have to work the spots in between. But if I set my borders up correctly, it should be stitching the right size. I just have to make the pieces to fit and just kind of tweak them just a little bit. It'll be A-OK. -okay. So I'll have to do that on each side. No problem. Very nice. Love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite. That's my favorite rose right there. And then over here on this border, there's a dark one, like a dark burgundy kind of color. I think that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I did think about stitching the rose and the rose and the rose around the petals of the flowers, but they weren't as immediately detailed. And um, I just thought that might be a little bit so busy for that center. Let's just kind of put a nice couple big roses in there and, and, and just let it go because the borders are really kind of busy themselves. I think it looks lovely. Well, it feels so good. Like it's, it's a good fabric. And the stitch out is pretty, it feels nice. So that's what Walt and I are going to be puttering away at for the rest of today. And uh, we hope you guys like the video and uh, uh, like the thread choice. I think it suits it definitely. It's pretty. I like this little sash, this bit right in between here. Like it's all one piece, right? It's all one piece. So there's no, uh, there's no seams in here. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite lovely. As, uh, as bordering out this uh, center panel. So and it's also a great idea 
for when I start making more of the Christmas panels or busting out the more panels. Like we still got, you know, lots to do. We're only on five, I think. So uh, this is a great idea to help border, 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 and then even maybe practicing those miters. That would be a nice one if I could find a nice little uh, busy, busy uh, border piece to be able to, a, a miter would look lovely with it. Definitely with this, for sure. You definitely needed it. So thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate you here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. We hope you have an amazing Wednesday. Stay cool, stay warm, stay happy. Big hugs to you, and we'll see you on the weekend project as well as the weekend live stream, which I believe we're probably just going to be finishing up the school, the school quilt project, okay? So take care, big hugs. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.